everyone, again you can watch me make four resin geoda druzy coasters. This time I'm testing a few colors together. A client asked me to make her 12 druzy coasters in the colors red, green and pink shades. So that's what I will be doing. So I hope you will enjoy watching my video and uh, will give me a thumbs up for it. So yeah, I'm going to make four druzy coasters again and um, in some nice red, green, pink shades. And in the center I already added a nice green glitter, very sparkly. And, uh, and around it I'm pouring clear resin, the silicon mold. I hope you watched my previous video because in that video I, uh, I already mentioned that I made this mold myself. So I'm very proud of myself. It has a nice druzy crystal edge that I made uh, with alum crystals. So they are very sparkly and they are very realistic. So you only need a thin layer for a, a, a flower because I'm going to make a flower because the client liked that very much. And again I'm going to add a flower on two layers of resin to create the depth that I want. But about this silicon mold, I'm not an expert in making such large silicon molds, but this uh, mold is soon available at molds and shapes. So I'm very pleased because they are the experts on making silicon molds and not me. So soon this design will be available um, on their web shop. So I'm I'm very happy with that. So the first color that I use is from Ranger and it's the Pearl Sublime. Very nice color. Then the second color is from Etter Art and this is the Sangria. Nice deep red color. So four drops. And the third color is also from a ranger and it's the color shell pink. So I'm going to use this color uh, on the outside. And this is only the first layer. The resin that I'm using is from Resin Pro, the medium viscosity resin. The link to their website is in the description below this video with also a discount code and also the link to the website of Molds and Shapes is below this video with also a discount code. So that's great. But the information, you can find it all in the description. Adding more drops of the Sangria color. Yeah, and I'm testing these colors together to see how they look. I always test before I uh, make the final coasters, or these uh, should be very uh, uh, should be very nice. I don't know, but I first test those colors together, and then I uh, um, inform the customer. And discuss it and then I make the final coasters. So I'm blending the colors with my dotting tool, spreading it to the outside, there you can see it. And I use a dotting tool because a dotting tool doesn't have a sharp tip, so I can't damage my mold this way. So 
So all the supplies I use in this video you can find at the end of the video with all the color names. But you can also find it in the description below this video and I always add the link to the websites. So if you are curious please check out the description box. There's a lot of information there. So I'm so pleased that this mold will be available at the uh, Molds and Shapes. Because it's such a nice uh, design, the edge is yeah, very pretty. But at the end of this video I will show you all a close up and then you can see it much better. So we are 45 minutes later and now I'm going to add the flower design starting in the center with a circle and this white I'm also testing because what you already know I want to add pigment paste to my Just Paint supplies so that's why I'm testing the white pigment paste. This is a nice green color and I made it with one of my newer colors it's a mica pigment and it's called iris spring so very sparkly and again a white circle And another green circle. So this is only the first layer what I already mentioned. There will be a second layer with a smaller flower on top to create depth. And a white circle. And so far I'm very pleased with the white pigment paste because it sure, sure uh, makes very nice effects. But I want to test it a little bit more. Also I want to test it of course also on a larger painting. But in a, in a silicon mold it sure um, gives nice effects. Now I'm going to make some lights with my dotting tool from the outside to the inside. And now it doesn't look that pretty but hopefully it will change. And the resin is already uh, getting thicker. The last coaster. I'm using my embossing tool to create effects but also to remove air bubbles. And hopefully my client will like these colors together. Also going to make some lines from the inside to the outside. There you can see it.
and the white is already uh, spreading to the outside that's nice Going to swirl the center. Again, some heat, and then I'm almost done with this first layer. I will uh, let it dry for an hour, and then I'm going to show you if it changed or not so we are one hour later and uh, this is how they look after one hour of drying. I really love the effect of the white in the nice deep red color. Very pretty. Little bit closer there. But on top of this layer, I will add a second layer with a smaller flower uh, in the center. And that way I still can see the first layer. And um, hopefully it will get a nice depth that way. But yeah, I need to let this dry for 24 hours and then I will add a second layer. So we are 24 hours later, now I'm going to start on the second layer. First a thin layer of clear resin, I'm using the same resin, the Art Pro resin from Resin Pro. Then I use my heat gun to remove air bubbles. And they dried very well, so that's good. And I just love that dark red color. Hopefully the other side of the coast is also pretty. But yeah. If it's not, then this side already looks amazing. And also on this side, I will be adding that smaller flower. So... Normally, they can be used on this side. So I'm starting with the first color. This is the Ranger Pearl Sublime. Four drops. You can already see the pearl effect. And hopefully that pearl effect will flow to the center. Another color from Ranger, and this is the color Bottle, very dark green color. Yeah, you can't see it that well at the moment, but if I'm going to add um, the white flower design, then the color will be much more visible. So we are 45 minutes later again, and now I'm going to add the white flower design. Again, three circles. 
You can see it. Because I don't want to cover the whole first layer, so that's why I'm only adding three circles. And I'm going to make lines first from the inside to the outside to create nice petals and now the green colors are much more visible and every time I make a line I clean the dotting tool And the third coaster. Hopefully you don't hear my friend's bulldog. He's very loud. And now some lines from the outside to the inside and this way you can create that beautiful petal and I always choose colors for the second layer for the flower in nice uh, that have a nice contrast with the first the colors of the first layer Now I'm adding some heat with my embossing tool to hopefully spread the white lines that I added. Yeah, and the mold is not totally filled to the top yet. I'm going to add a clear layer of resin. I'm not going to show you that because that's not that interesting. But I want to fill the mold uh, totally to the top. Yeah, I forgot some lines. I still need to do a line, I see. There you can see it. And now the flower is nice. So I'm done with this layer. I will let it dry. Then I will add off camera a clear layer of resin. And then I, after they are dry, I can take them out of the mold. So this is after one hour of drying. I want to show you the depth and also the nice green color of this smaller flower. I just love it. Such a nice contrast between the red of the first layer. Yeah, I'm very pleased. And you can also see the sparkle of the Pearl Sublime alcohol ink. There I'm trying to show you the depth. So I'm very pleased. I will let this dry and then I can uh, will take them out of the mold. So the coasters are dry and now I'm going to take them out of the mold. 
I also added a clear layer of resin. I didn't show you that. And I added a few pieces of crushed glass uh, in the center in a nice gold color. This crushed glass is available in my Etsy shop. The link to my Etsy shop is below this video in the description. So if you are curious, uh, please check out my uh, Etsy shop. I sell a lot. Also mica pigments, glitter flakes, mica flakes, mirror glass and a lot more. But the link to it is in the description. So the last coaster. And then I can show you how they look up close. And also how that druzy as edge looks. I think it looks amazing. But I think this side looks very pretty. It has a great depth. Now we can take a closer look, there you can see it. The white has uh, made some nice effects. That's the edge, I'm checking it. And that's the other side, isn't that pretty, doesn't matter. Because my intention was to make an, this side beautiful with a nice smaller green flower. But I think these colors go very well together. So I'm going to discuss with my client what she thinks of these colors. But the, yeah, the edge is amazing. Little bit closer. There you can see the smaller flower. Trying to show you the depth and also the druzy edge. There you can see it. I think it looks very uh, realistic. Let me know what you think of this edge. And don't forget soon it will be available um, on the website of Molds and Shapes. That's the other side. Isn't that pretty? But it was not my intention to make this side also nice. But yeah, I'm very pleased with the end result. This is outside in the daylight. Then you can see the colors much better. There you can see the small green flower with the nice gold crushed glass in the center. Beautiful druzy edge. So I will discuss this with my client and uh, see what she thinks of these colors. Hopefully she likes them. And I just love the white. Uh, in the red, it creates some really nice effects. There I'm trying to show you the depth and the druzy edge. So let me know what you think. Hopefully you will give me a thumbs up for this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider it. I would appreciate it a lot. All the supplies I used you can find below this video in the description. I want to thank you all for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!